your animal is your world. Well, my dogs and my cat are certainly my world. And if you feel the same, then you are the person that I want to talk to in this video. So you have animal companions in your life, whether you call them pets or animal companions, your dog, your cat, your horse, even your rabbit, your hamster, your turtle, doesn't matter. It's an animal that you share your life with and they really are your world. Well, like I say, mine certainly are. And recently somebody said to me that, uh, in fact, it was their husband <laughs> that commented uh, to her that she's a better person to be around because she has a dog. And I can really get that. I have found that I have been saying that, that I want to be a better person because of what my animals bring to me, what they teach me. If you can resonate with this, then what I like to do is say to you, you are the perfect candidate for learning animal communication and integrating the practice of animal communication into the relationship that you share with your animals. Now, you may or may not have heard of animal communication, and in many ways, it really doesn't matter what the definition of animal communication is. But what I want to really share with you is how it's really changed my relationship with my animals. A while back, a very kindly friend said to me, although it didn't feel like her words were kindly, but she meant it kindly. She observed what was going on um, during a situation and she said to me, Joanne, your animals really should fit around you. You shouldn't fit around them. And in that moment, I couldn't respond. I just felt all sorts of feelings. And to be honest, I had all sorts of thoughts. And part of it disturbed me because I had all the previous programming of you mustn't spoil your pets and you should have a life without them. You should have your own identity. All these kind of came flooding in. But what I realize is that because I have learned to communicate with my own animals, whereby I can connect in with their feelings and their thoughts, and I can have conversations with them in a way that brings meaning to our lives, where the way that I ask them questions and the way they share through visual, sound, smell, taste, emotion, sensations, I know what their answer to my questions are. So I can take these kinds of dilemmas to them. And in the past, I would have felt like, yeah, I shouldn't spoil my animals. They should fit around me. I should, you know, not be so attached to them. But in the end, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks. It's how you and your animals choose to have the type of relationship that you want. And if you choose to have the type of relationship whereby you are very closely bonded and you really get that they bring meaning to your life. And it, it's okay that you almost live your life whereby they are your guides, they are your teachers. So if you're able to resonate with at least one of the things I've said here, then like I say, you're the type of person that I want to reach out to. And I'd like to be able to share with you how you can connect in with the animal communication techniques and methods and approach that will work for you and your animals, whereby if you're unsure about something, whether your relationship with them is right or not, you know, then you can converse with them, let them and you discuss it rather than what everybody else thinks. And the bigger picture is I want to live with my animals in the way whereby I have no regrets when I look back. I want to be able to have memories of my own animals whereby I know, I know what they wanted. I know what was important to them. I didn't have that with my animals before I discovered animal communication, but now I have animal communication. My goodness, my two dogs and my cat and I just have this bond whereby I can't do everything right for them. I can't provide everything for them. But what we have is communication and that's what's key. So I know 100% in my heart that when they're no longer on this earth, I will have no regrets. 
Of course, I'm still going to have the what if. That's just human nature. But 90% 90, 90 of my thoughts, even dare I say 95% of my thoughts would be, I knew what they wanted and that's what's important. So if this relates to you, like I say, you're the kind of person I want to talk to and I want to share animal communication with you. So I have a three day free live event coming up on the 28th to the 30th of May, where we'll spend three sessions together and I will share all about animal communication and how you can really integrate that into your relationship with your animals. So just pop in uh, the comments, uh, register, and I will send you the link where you can save your free spot. And I look forward to seeing you then. Okay.